Fraser Kerr. Looks for the early ball into the middle. Away by right. Halloran. He's coming under pressure there. Oyama's won it back. Looks for Ainsworth. And the ricochet goes away of Ainsworth. And a blistering finish from the winger. And could this be the night that Motherwell turn their fortunes around? Ainsworth celebrates. It was Michael O'Halloran that was caught in possession by Henrik Oyama. Vigers too trying to win the ball back. And the ball broke for Ainsworth. And well, there was certainly no mistake in his finish. Hit with firm power into the roof of the net. Poor defending from a St. Johnson perspective. But what about the finish? Oyama. Now Kerr. Oyama's continued his run. Can he muster the space for a shot? Well, he's done really well to get back to his feet. Keep it alive for Motherwell. Here's Ainsworth. Good save by Manus. Ainsworth again now. Anderson wins it back. And St. Johnson could have a counter on here. It's O'Halloran. O'Halloran past Kerr, who's gone to ground. On to Croft. Back to O'Halloran. It's 1-1, five minutes before half-time. That is as incisive a counter-attack as you will see. A big moment in the game. The save from Manus to deny Ainsworth his second. And from there... St. Johnson broke and broke at pace. Kerr tried to halt the attack, but O'Halloran knew that the opportunity was on. Motherwell were exposed and didn't St. Johnson finish it off well. Croft to O'Halloran, and it's 1 1. Easton finds McFadden, former Fur Park favourite, a legend in Lanarkshire. Finds O'Halloran. Oh, it's good feet by O'Halloran. And 10 minutes from time, Michael O'Halloran has got his second of the night. And could it be the goal that sends Motherwell to their fifth straight league defeat? Kerr slipped and collided with Stephen McManus. And that left a path open to Michael O'Halloran. And didn't he finish it well? created the space for himself before a beautiful clip finish over the outstretched legs of Dan Twardzik. Parkins now. Clarkson on to Greg Stewart. Stewart kisses it in off the post. And he is a man in form. Greg Stewart with three in his last three games now. Eremenko. Cheaply given away to Harkins, the former Killy player. Clarkson now, and Clarkson drills it. 2-0 to Dundee. And for all of Kilmarnock's good form at home, they look to be undone here. Mackenzie, McGuinness gets the flick on, Eremenko brilliantly brought down and he finishes it too. And Kilmarnock are still alive in this contest. The first touch was immaculate, the second made no mistake. Eremenko and Samson is up, he will remain in the box as Kilmarnock look for the point. Eremenko still has it, Samson looked at the header. Still Dundee can't clear, they may now. But it's just going to come straight back at them. Now perhaps they have a chance to run the clock down. Samson still out of his goal, it's Greg Stewart. He's past the goalkeeper. Still Stewart goes, remains on his feet. Saved by Hamill on the line, he's got a second chance though. And Greg Stewart finishes the contest. 3-1 Dundee, Stewart with his second goal of the game. He got two chances at it, and he needed them both. Way by Garcia Tena. Antoine Courier, 
It's nicely worked to Ali Crawford. Imri, first time into Darian McKinnon, shifts it onto the right foot and finds the bottom corner. It's Darian McKinnon with the opening goal midway through the first half. Didn't he finish it well? He got the winner against St Johnson in August. And he's got the opener against Partick Thistle. McKinnon won that strongly. Redmond to Courier, returns it to Redmond. What a chance! And it's two goals in the space of a minute for Ackies. Danny Redmond with his first for the club since signing permanently from Wigan. Brilliant move and well finished by Redmond. Partick Thistle won four defeats away from home without scoring. And they're teetering on the brink of five. Although that drops for McMillan, and they've got one back. Nine minutes after going two down, Jordan McMillan scores his first goal since April. Lawless will manage to pick up by the mistake from Ali Crawford. And now here's Cragen. And Partick Thistle have found the equaliser to the delight of their large travelling support. It's James Cragen. A calm finish. 2 2 now. Cragen flicks it on. Higginbotham. Lawless. Cragen's continued his run, but it's going to drop for Christy Elliott. Great finish. And what a turnaround in this game. Who would have seen this coming after 23 minutes when Partick Thistle were two down? They've now turned it around and they lead by three goals to two. Higginbotham can't find a teammate. Gordon back to his goalkeeper. Now Imre. He launches one. Andrew, great control. Oh, what a hit by Tony Andrew! And it's the equaliser with virtually the last kick of the game. High drama at New Douglas Park. Partick Thistle will be denied their first away victory of the league season. But what a way to equalise for Tony Andrew. Armstrong, and that's left for Nadia Chifchi. It could open up here for Dundee United. Conley, Aidan Conley deflected. Peyton arriving, and he side foots it into the back of the net. And this week, Paul Peyton will be in the headlines for all the right reasons. Conley finding good space down the right hand side, and how calm was Paul Peyton arriving? just to side foot it into the back of the net beyond Marion Kello. Up towards Chifchi, Goodwin missed it. Butcher onto Conley and it's going to drop here for Nadia Chifchi. 11 minutes into the second half, Dundee United have their second goal. And this fine run of form at Tannadice looks to continue. They've won five and drawn one of their six games so far this season. Is this going to be victory number six as Nadia Chifchi cashes in? Chifchi, he's found space. Conley to Telfar, this time he's done it. They have their third. And it's Charlie Telfar, the 19-year-old, who gets his first Dundee United goal. Set up by Conley and these two have really impressed this afternoon. Williams. Williams has given it away and here comes Stokes and Celtic have three on two suddenly in the break. Gudetti is left. It comes to John Gudetti. Turns back inside and finds the back of the net. He is the man in form. John Gudetti has done it once again. 
It's nine goals in his last seven matches. A hat-trick in midweek against Partick Thistle. Just look how comfortable he is with the ball at his feet. The defenders don't know where he's going and eventually he lashes it beyond Brill.